Hi, it's me again with Corrodo Tips and Tricks. Draw a snowflake so easily with the symmetry tool. Uh, I'm going to never go to, well, I'm not going to say I ever. I might get ideas from that WW Flanks because they have a lot. And if we uh, just type out a few letters and, you know, it might give you some good ideas, but they're kind of rough and they're not uh, vector and they're, um, I thought I had it. I just used it this the other day. I thought it'd still be up here. So, um, so it's called WW Flakes, and it's um, I'm having trouble getting rid of my aerial. There it is. See, it even comes up with flake. So, and then Corel does that. You have to go back, and there's your snowflakes. So, you know, might give you some ideas of some other ones. Like this is the one I've used a, a lot. Well, that's that's a little bit different, but there's a lot of them. So it might even give you some ideas. But if you look real close, they're not very perfect. You know, the rounded parts. So instead of going to a font and doing that, let's go to object symmetry. And I'm just going to do create new symmetry. I'm just going to use one right now. I wonder if we could hit P and put it in the center of the page. And you know what? I'm going to have to have more than one. So I'm going to go like that many. Well, that doesn't matter because I just need to stay in this realm. And then just get your two point line and just kind of go anywhere and go straight up. Hold down. You know, you don't have to hold down the control button. And look at this. It's drawing it on all of the other ones in real time. So you can kind of see what it looks like. And you could add as many of these as you like. Matter of fact, we could go to there. Now, that's pretty cool. But then you could add symmetries and go, okay, now these are touching. But I want that many. Well, grab your shape tool and click on that one and just bring it in. And it brings it in on all of them. You know, maybe I would even come out that away with that one. And you, so these are, are the one that lit up in blue is the one you're going to use and get rid of that node. You know, you could bring this out and make it a point. Um, let's just delete that and see what happened. Look at that. Uh, you could add a node and get some total different looking snowflakes. Now, when you're finished, hit finished and break the link apart. Now, if you look, we have some lines down there and you could put a star in there. You could put another snowflake in there. Um, there's several things you could do, but to get it to work, see the weld tools don't show up. Select it all, the weld well tools don't show up. Go up to object, group, and ungroup it, and then the weld tool show up. And it's going to get rid of those little bitty, well, it didn't. It shouldn't. Well, um, you know, we could have got rid of that during the symmetry. Let's go back. See if we can go back. There we go. And... Let's uh, take our shape tool and put it up there. Look at that. And now you could put in anything in here too. So finish, break link apart. And if you smart, okay, you can't even smart fill it. I must, unless I have a link. Um, so let's grab it all, go up to object, group and ungroup it, and then weld it. Now, because I might have had a leak, I'm going to put a rectangle. Yep, I got a leak somewhere. It's one of the parts I didn't get far enough. Well, look at that right there. There it is. So it's all the way. So just back up. So you get that symmetry. Go here, take your shape tool, zoom in, and grab your shape tool and go like right to that edge. And it cleared it up. I wonder if we can smart fill it in this. Nope. Wow. That was weird. But finish. 
Brake link apart, smart fuel tool, and there you go. You've got, and what's cool about this, you could put this on another page, go back. Well, let's just do, I'm going to show you how to, what I do sometimes. I'm going to copy this. Okay, now I'm going to go back and these are, that one's going to go away because I'm backing up, right? So let's change this one a little bit with the symmetry tool. And let's, uh, let's bring that there, bring that there. See, as long as you're not touching, um, and I'm not doing a very good job of this, but this way you can know if you're touching. Then finish, break link apart, object, group, ungroup. Now, where did our other snowflake go? Well, Corel still has it in the paste mode. So I'm going to right click and paste, and there's our other one. I actually copied both those, so that that doesn't really matter. That's pretty cool. I mean, you could you could knock out a bunch of different snowflakes and use your artistic ability, which I have none, to uh, do some really neat stuff. I did say I was going to put a. No, this doesn't really have anything with the symmetry tool, but let's uh. Let's just make it easy and put a circle. And then weld that. Hopefully that'll weld. Now you have a circle. So you've got a, a totally different snowflake. That's cool. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.